Okay, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite, and I don't know where I'm going. Which is not unusual. Z, what's the story memo? What's the story memo? Game. There we go. Um, White Wing Palace in Akamoth to speak to the caretaker. Oh, okay. I can go there. Alright, so we are here. And... Am I supposed to talk to you? Rescuing the repair worker. Oh, that's right. That's what I did at the the last time, in the in the last time of this uh, let's play. Let's rest because that's probably going to continue the story. Ricky, stop spinning in circles. Everyone's gathered outside. Oh my god, that's a lot of NPCs. It looks like some kind of ceremony. My loyal and beloved subjects, Saurian Antiqua speaks. I have been your emperor for little more than 20 years. But today I stand before you. Look at Dunban. So that's the High Entia Emperor, Saurian Antiqua. I will remain your emperor for years to come. But now is the time to announce my successor. May I introduce your crown princess? And there's the lady herself. Melia Antiqua. It's... it's her. She's... she's a princess. Took you long enough. <sighs> her silver spoon accent was a clue. But royalty? My daughter. Melia Antiqua will depart immediately to face the tomb. She will seek the approval of our ancestors and become your crown princess. The people are fickle. No mask can hide that girl's contaminated blood. First consort, all the pieces are in place. Say the word and the captive Homs shall be no more. The savage who discovers fire remains a savage. Disappointed or not, his highness will turn a blind eye to their fate. And their removal will deprive Melia of some powerful allies. As you say. Mother? We continue to endure the contamination of our bloodline by perpetuating this wretched tradition of a High Entia First Consort and a Hom Second Consort. For how long must I suffer these Homs? Do your duty, Tyrea. As you wish. That mask. Melia. I don't doubt that was Melia. But why the mask? I don't know. But she's different from the other Hyentia. How do you mean? Melia not like other bird people. 
Many like Hom Hom friends. You might be right. But there are things at play here we can't understand. Wait a minute. Oi! You'll give our homes a heart attack shouting like that. We've got no time to lose. Melia needs our help. Again? You had another vision, didn't you? What did you see? Out with it already. Excuse me. We ordered room service an hour ago. I'm afraid you've already eaten your last meal. Oh. Fight time? All right, let's do this. Let's see. I don't know if I want to, to, to narrate this, but we're just gonna go and uh, use a bunch of moves on Scout, on Scout, uh, and Dia. Let's see. Oops, I need to heal. Did I heal? Let's heal. I have no idea what's going on because there are so many things on the screen. Come on. Come on. I don't even know who I'm locked onto. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have to use... Is Minato no use on things with faces? Alright, do I have to do the whole topple routine? Ricky! Topple them! It looks like I'm doing one damage. Are the enemy doing a chain attack now? Fortunately, you appear to be missing, but wow. Did not know the enemy could chain attack. I saw they had the red connecting them for a while now, but... Wow. Ricky killed someone. I only got 100 experience from that. That sucks. Alright, there we go. Finally, that was a... 10 minute long battle. Who are these guys? Shook. Well, you took your time. Like I said, you had 10 whole minutes to get here. These are inquisitors. What is this? More of them. Wait. This is His Highness Kalyan, brother to Her Highness Melia. Melia's brother? Do not concern yourself, Your Highness. The matter appears to have been resolved. Seer Alvis? I foresaw the danger. I rushed here, but seem to have missed the fun. They do not look like mere thieves. I am presuming they are inquisitors of the Bionite Order. A group of assassins long devoted to the Imperial family. Ridiculous. The Bionite Order are a mere... Myth. The Order existed before records began. I, like many others, believed they had long since died out. Yet here they are before us. Is Father aware of this? I suspect he knows very little. He may not even be aware of their existence. They live amongst the shadows, never revealing their true faces. But that does not explain why they would attack these people. Wait. Could that have been... No. There's no way. Kalyan. Melia is in danger. She'll be killed at an altar if we don't find her soon. Killed? How can you be so sure? Shulk and I share the same gift. Another seer? Which would mean that you can see the future? That's why we have to find her. Now. Your Highness. As agreed, you will face the ritual alone. I thank you for escorting me. We wish you a safe return. As history has proven, all those who stake claim to the throne without merit will spend eternity as fallen spirits. 
I must prove my worth as the next ruler, and I am no less prepared to sacrifice my life than those that have fallen before me. Most wise, Your Highness. Watch your back, Your Highness. Unacceptable. Hey, to the tomb must do so alone. Her life or death is in the hands of fate. Those not worthy of the throne are exactly that. You can't seriously think that. This is your sister. This is Melia. Easy rhyme. But Dumban, this ritual holds a special significance. It is wrong for us to interfere. I don't like it. But am I right in saying that the rules of this ritual affect only High Entia? And if some strange Homs happen to get involved, it wouldn't cause a problem? Or is there some rule that prohibits Homs from entering the tomb? No. I suppose not. Then look at it this way. I don't need to know how big a deal this ritual is to your people. What I do know is that your sister's life is at stake. Cut us a break, and we'll save her. Who are you? My name is Dunban. I'm sort of the protector of this Mekon bashing band of Homs. Dunban. I know you. At the Battle of Sword Valley, you held back an entire wave of Mekon with the Monado. You know a lot about a battle you never showed up to. My apologies. We do not concern ourselves with the wars of others, be it against the Mekon or otherwise. I was only joking. You had your reasons. I can see that with all these defense systems, you don't really need to fight. Then it is decided. You can reach the tomb by transporter from the center gate. Her Highness has already entered. Shulk, you should hurry. All right, so here we go. We have a full party with Alvis in tow. Um. The, uh, the, the, the center gate, was it? Wait, why am I running? I can fast travel. All right, here we are at the main entrance, and I think the central gate is, uh, this, this first teleporty thing leading out, I think. Please don't send me on a wild goose chase around this entire region game. Um, I do think I ran past it when I was lost earlier, but I don't remember where that would be. Let's try this one. Where does this lead? It doesn't say. Oh, it leads up here. Okay, this is probably not where I want to go. Yeah, this isn't where I want to go. Um, I guess I can check on the map for Central Gate, but... Yeah, why don't I do that? Let's check on the map for Central Gate. Alright, here we are at the Central Gate. And the quest marker is pointing me in this direction. I think I ran past the, the tomb for Hyantia while I was running around lost earlier. But I don't remember how to get there, and I didn't see it on the map, so... Alright, well, the quest mark is pointing in this direction, so let's go and teleport off to here. Alright, convenient. I think we're right in front of it. This is the tomb. Defensive measures prevent intruders from entering. You will have to circumvent these to move within the tomb. One thing before we enter. Alvis, you can see the future like me. I am from a long line of seers dedicated to serving the Imperial family. My visions help to protect the Empire. But you're Homs. Yes. 
but that is for another time. My ancestry is not easily explained, and my ability to see the future is equally complicated. You might say, I have my own ritual. Is it not the same for you? No. My visions appear suddenly, without warning. At first, they're obscure. Then, as it gets closer to the event, I start to understand. It seems you possess a power greater than I. I still have not seen any danger before Her Highness. Not much use as a seer, then, are you? Nothing passes you by, does it? Now you see why I asked for your help. What a lucky coincidence that I happened to see you in danger. A coincidence? But I've seen you use the Monado. The Monado has been passed down the Imperial line for generations. The Sword of the Bionis. It is compelled to do its master's bidding. Magnified greatly, it has the power to control the very fabric of our world. Ether. Control the ether, and your will is made reality. I willed it, and it happened. That is all. Perhaps I got none of what he just said. I entia sealed away the hey. Monado for centuries. Eventually, it found its way into the hands of the Homs, and then you, Shulk. A coincidence, or something more? You must discover this yourself. For you are the one who wields the Monado. The Bionis is stirring. The ancestral altar lies deep beneath the seals. What trials await me, I wonder? I must not lose focus. Alright, so we are playing as Melia. Um, got a lot of experience just for discovering this area. I think this is the seal chamber. Okay, so no need to repeat myself. Um, what I was getting from the, like, second to last cutscene is that Melia's, or the, the queen is jealous of Melia's being a different mom. Being of a different mom. Well, this is fancy. I have come to be judged on my legitimacy to the throne by the ancestral spirits. Permission granted. Commencing analysis of genetic data. So cold. There are remnants of ancient spirits in here. This is no ordinary chill. As I explained before, Dunban, the defense systems are designed to prevent uninvited. Well, what does this do? Don't touch. Alright, let me try that again. Deal damage by firing elementals. Inflicting sleep. Alright, well, I'm not gonna remember that. As I was trying to say, uh, the queen is jealous of Melia's being born of a different mom. There we go. And is, uh, making an attempt to bump her off. I don't know if I got that right, or... If I'm just, uh, making things dramatic. Let's see. I'm going to try and fight this thing. Alright, so we have, like, boss music here. Um, I'm going to try and fight this thing and inflict sleep on one enemy. 
Electric elemental. Fire elemental. How do I how do I fire elementals? How do I fire elementals? Hey. Inflict bind, that'll be cool. Are you you're rooted to the ground now. Ow. Oh, that didn't do anything. Wait, I can't I can't water elemental. Some of these are crossed out. Can you stop that? So ether up. Oh, attack using some of the elementals, so I have to auto attack until this fills up. I got it. I think. How do I heal myself? Because I need to heal myself. Can I put you to sleep, please? I said put you to sleep, not not you do nothing. This isn't filling up. You're almost dead, by the way. Well, that didn't go as planned. Alright, I'm gonna end this off here. I meant to do it when, um... When I'd beaten that thing, but... I've been going for a half an hour. I know this video has been mostly cutscene. But... It happens sometimes. It's not as bad as Bravely Default still. Anyway, my name is Dragonite. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you all later.